Hi, I'm Dave I'm from Levika Photography, and today we're going to be talking about the Nissan i40 Flash. And it comes with this funky little case where it sits folded, uh, it has a uh, diffuser and a uh, standard stand. Now, the size of the flash, let me pop it off the camera here, compared to a regular flash is minuscule. It's so tiny, um, but very powerful. And this flash uh, is actually slightly more powerful than the Sony uh, FLV or HLV 43M. I don't ever remember what the first letters are, but the 43M. 43M has a guide number of 132. This one has a guide number of 138. Um, that's in feet. In meters, uh, the Sony is uh, 40 meters. This is 42 meters. Okay, so uh, size-wise, um, you know, very tiny compared to the Young Now. Uh, one thing that's different about this is it is a standard bounce head, and you can actually see the bounce arm, which I don't mind at all. I wish it laid a little flatter. That way I could lay it out in my bag flat. But it doesn't take up that much room, so I'm not going to hold that against it. Uh, the head does have um, a full 360 degrees of turning, and it can go vertical. So you can pretty much achieve whatever angle you want uh, without any issues. The build quality of this flash does seem to be pretty good. It does not have an LCD back at all. So I'll show you how to use this in a second. Um, the one thing that I noticed right off the bat when mounting it on the camera, and this goes to the, back to the Sony A6000 hot shoe. We know this is buggy, but I think I'm starting to figure out why. Um, the rails that are in the hot shoe and on the, uh, not this particular camera, but on the other one, I noticed one of the rails was stuck down. Um, I mean, halfway stuck down. So if you pry it up, uh, that creates better pressure on the flash, and the flash fires better. Now, when I first got this, I immediately threw it on this camera body, <clears throat> and it locks into place, and just slides in and locks. And that, that's nice, but um, design-wise, it has these plastic pins right here. Hopefully you can see that, right here. And those pins push up, and then they go into these two little holes right here on the flash. Um, you know, for right now, that's fine, because we just got it. I'm just worried about the longevity of that. Uh, those plastic pins will wear down fairly quickly compared to metal ones, and uh, we'll have to find another way to keep it on there, because they'll just slide right off. Um, but that's in long-term use, so, you know, I may... Uh, if you see a video from me about the same flash in six months, you know I'm complaining about it. <laughs> if you don't, it's okay. All right, so uh, let's go over the features of this flash really quick. So this, this is a little different. Normally on a button you'd have a zoom. This does zoom. Um, but right here you have a guide of how to zoom it. So you hold down the power button for three seconds, and then this LED light changes to the next color. So let's try that. So we'll hold this down. I'm getting nothing. Oh, because we're on auto and we're in TTL. Sorry. If I switch this over to manual and then hold the power button down. There we go. Now it switches to 24. And then hold the power button down again. And now it switches to 50, 80, and 105. And I'm going to go back to auto. Because auto will just hit whatever focal length is on the lens in the camera. The only time you really need to manually zoom it is if you have a manual lens on here uh, that doesn't have the info going through the camera. So that's in the bounce card. And it does have a bounce card. It also has the wide uh, deflector to do ultra-wide flashing. Okay, so let's go back to the front now. Um, there are a few things that drive me crazy about this flash. Okay, so uh, the video light, for one, is actually not so bad. Um, notice how when I turned it from 
anything else to video, watch this LED, boop, it goes to the other side. Okay, so this is my video power over here. So if you look at the video light, you can crank it, that's all the way up, and that's all the way down. Um, I don't know the exact lumens on the video light, but I'm going to say compared to the Sony, it's probably uh, equally as bright or maybe slightly dimmer, but somewhere around 360 to 400 lumens right off the bat. Okay, so the first issue that I found with this light. Um, it does power up very quick because it doesn't have the LEDs and uh, you don't really need to deal with sleep modes or anything like that. So really quick, we talked about the video light. Okay, in manual mode, that gives you full control. This is your power dial from one to one all the way down to, sorry about that, from one to one all the way down to uh, one 256th power. So excellent power range. Okay, so in manual mode, when this light is flashing, that means you're on high-speed sync. Now, here's the issue that I have with this lens. Like the Sony, when you go to bounce, it kicks you out of high-speed sync. But, unlike the Sony, wherever you set this, if you hold down this LED, the actual green light, until this other white light flashes next to M, you are back in high-speed sync mode again, and you are back at 4,000th of a second. So, overall, this is very easy to use. Um, you know, it, the TTL is extremely easy. It's two stops, either way, um, plus or minus. Uh, the bounce works just fine. You know, uh, very high-powered flash for what it is. The battery life seems to be really good since it doesn't have an LCD screen it has to deal with. That actually stretches it out a little bit. Uh, the fact that when you move the head, it falls out of high sync, I find very annoying. But the fact that you can put it back into high speed sync, and the size of it, is going to keep it in my bag for a while. Alright, so, um, let's go out and see how this thing does in high speed sync. I'm going to do a high speed sync test with the uh, Nissan i40 syncing into the Young Nails in S1. Focus is in Okay, you ready? Okay, so we took this outside and goal achieved. Finally, I got what I wanted. I wanted to be able to do a high speed sync with full power, and it's so hard to do at 4,000th of a second. Um, hold on one second here, let me grab. Ah, here we go. Okay, so. Uh, the Young Nows in S1, um, and it doesn't matter if these are Canon, Nikon, whatever, you know, just put them on S1 and they pick up the light. And these were uh, pretty much about 12 feet away. So, you know, I'm able to use this as my high speed sync master, and I can point this at any flash. And usually, what I do, uh, you guys are wondering the settings that I use to achieve this. This flash was set on manual and set up full power and then uh, I zoomed it all the way up to 105 and then you aim it into the optical front of this flash and then you have this head bounced at whatever you want to shoot at and then this flash fires but it doesn't know that you're doing high speed it just knows that you're firing so this flash fires one to one and then it goes off and into my other light and that picks up that flash and fires one to one. And this all happens at 200,000th of a second because these basically have the equivalent of an optical lightning trigger in here. 
so you know the high speed sync is very fast between systems optically and you can't do that with optical slaves it's, it's very hard to achieve but on these 560s you can um, these are just great little workhorses even though on the camera they're very slow but anyway I won't talk about those all I want to say is that my goal was achieved I was able to pull off full power high speed sync and I did it with this flash this flash uh, did a good job um, it's gonna stay in my bag um, I don't know for how long but uh, I like it you know it's it's small it's convenient doesn't take up any room um, it has all the functionality of a flash like this uh, and uh, it does have remote functions on here I'm sorry I didn't get into all the functions um, I'm not so concerned about those as I am achieving this goal but anyway uh, I hope you guys like my video and uh, you know please click on the ads because that helps me down the road give me uh, a few likes or leave a comment um, I respond to all my comments uh, so if you have something to say let me know otherwise you guys have a good day and I'll talk to you later